Good. Hi, Meg. We're here for another styling video. This time featuring our limestone leggings and crop top, which is not only is can it be active wear, it can also be lounge wear and it can day -day wear. also be everyday wear. Um, and really depends on the fabric you choose. Mm -hmm. I love the limestone. You could tell we're filming this in, and it's cold outside. It's pretty cold out. So we are sort of focusing today on styling tips for leggings uh, for the colder weather, although mm -hmm. we do have a few Yeah, we have a couple uh, that could, could be transitional. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're really excited about this pattern. It's it's a base layer. Mm -hmm. I think of it as a base layer in the winter. Um, yeah. And it goes super, super well with our uh, stacia tee and mm -hmm. also the, the crop top that comes along with it. Um, yes. Depending on what fabric you make it in, it can be like a sports bra or it can yeah, be a crop top. Yeah, and there's a view with just a hem and a view with a wide elastic band. So mm -hmm. that makes it pretty versatile. Yeah. Yeah. All right, shall we get started? Yeah. We'll, we'll start with your outfits, yes. right? My first outfit is the one I'm wearing right mm -hmm. now, which is my camellia sweater over just the leggings and crop top. And y'all, I love this sweater. Meredith knit this and it su has such a fun wide neck. Yeah, I really was drawn to the wide neck and I love styling it with the black leggings because it's, I spent so much time on the cables, so much time making sure they were perfect um, that I didn't want them to be upstaged by some other part of my outfit. So it really lets the sweater shine. It's a really comfortable outfit to just throw on with boots when it's cold out and still feel stylish and put together but if I wanted to lay down and take a nap it would be perfectly yeah comfortable and I love how so. the strap that allows yeah. the straps of the crop to kind of show through yeah I think that's nice because you know it's a little hard to wear like a regular standard bra with but with a tank under it's perfect mm -hmm. great um and oh we also had some cameos from the yes there were some cameos animals. from the animals <laughs> it happens <laughs> Naturally, when you're wearing black leggings, a white cat, the white is cat come comes up and hang out. And surprisingly, because usually our dog doesn't come upstairs, but uh, because it's a tribute she's, to Mika's love for me, because she's afraid of the cats, <laughs> um, she she came up to say hi to Meredith. She did. So anyway, yes. <laughs> cute animals for you. <laughs> um, so outfit number two for you. Yes, was I love mended chambray shirt, which I've had for almost ten years now. Um, and I just keep on mending it. And soon it's going to be more more men's than shirts. Putting it on for this video, I realized there are some, some new holes. Um, and I just style it with my white high tops, which I was influenced to buy by me. <laughs> and I'm so glad I did. It was outside my comfort zone style-wise, but I've worn them a lot. I love them with the leggings and the mended chambray. Feels like an easy, very cool outfit. And if you have not gotten into visible mending yet, we do have a highlight in our Instagram stories that mm -hmm. is, uh, shows you how to visible mend. I also highly recommend Katrina Rodebaugh's book. Um, she has several actually. Yeah. I started with Mending Matters, but she also has Make Thrift Mend and both, both are great. Yeah. All right, and my next one is another hand knit sweater. I have a lot of them for winter, so I style them a lot, but this one is my Sarah cardigan. Um, and I wanted to show this with the leggings because it's cropped, so it gives a different look than the pullover I'm wearing. And again, with my white high tops, this cardigan is really versatile. I wear it with jeans, over dresses. I like, I like it buttoned up over these. It feels like very cozy and warm, but open. I feel like it's like a little bit fun. You can see a little bit of midriff and I like the solid black mm -hmm. sort of framed mm -hmm. by the red. Yes. Um, and you could even like, I, I love that wearing a cropped uh, mm -hmm. cardigan with this allows you to use those pockets. Yes, it of the definitely leggings. makes the pockets of the leggings more accessible. And these are sure. not like tiny little. Oh yeah, you can tiny fit little a, leggings. A cell pocket. phone. You, you can, can fit, fit a, a lot. Small of, you wallet. can fit a very large hand. Yes. <laughs> like you. Can... Neither of us have very large hands, <laughs> but I feel like we can still make that claim. It's, yeah, I think so. You know, like all the dog treats and all that kind of stuff. Whatever you need for. That's why Mika came up here. Yeah, I probably. Just filled with dog treats. Uh, all right. All outfit right. four. My next one is our bedrock tee, which is a pattern that is not out yet, but will be out. Um, 
And again, with my white high tops, this is a great outfit for working out, for lounging, or for just running errands. Mm -hmm. I like to tie my tees, but I think the bedrock looks cute, just loose over the leggings And the bedrock, well. kind of like our strata top, which mm -hmm. would also be a great pairing with yeah. these leggings, um, has, has this sort of curved hem, so it adds that little bit of interest. Yeah, I think it's nice to have a slightly looser tee over a fitted pant, just gives you a more interesting silhouette. Right, right. And outfit five. Yes, and this is my sort of more transition outfit. Um, just wearing the limestone crop top as a top with my slim hack Aaronites and a chambray shirt over top and some clogs. This outfit to me says I'm going on vacation to the coast. I wish that's what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would definitely wear it at the beach or in the mountains in the summer. Yes. It'd be very cold to wear it in the mountains now. But right, right, yeah. yeah. Um, Okay, so we're moving on to my outfits now, which actually you'll see, I, I'm wearing the same base out, the, like the same base layer throughout my first four outfits or five of mine. Um, and my base is the limestone leggings and my stacia tee. Yeah. Um, I'm wearing it here now. And the stacia tee, as opposed to the bedrock tee, which is going to be out in spring of 2023, um, the Stacia is is a slimmer fit tee, and so it's really perfect for yeah. layering. Um, it's very essential in my fall and winter wardrobe. Um, so the first up is my Stacia with um, with my limestone leggings and my Wixton unfolding jacket, which I believe is no longer in print. Yes, I think you can still get the PDF though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so my Wixton unfolding jacket is great. Like the idea of having a single column of color mm -hmm. um, underneath a more oversized top. It can be a, a kind of a long grandpa cardigan. It yeah. could be uh, a longer jacket, um, a longer button down. I love the single column of color. And I will say, like, I, I really love black, but I also love color. Mm -hmm. So... I'm wearing black as my underlayer in this, but you could wear hot pink. You yeah, know, that, you can make your set whatever color you want. You can, and and you can get that same sort of playful column of color with something on the outside. And I love wearing my Vans. This kind of like takes the takes the vibe to more casual. Yeah, and put on a slouchy beanie like. Well, I love this outfit because I love the the black, like you said, the column of black, and then like the creamy kind of oatmeal. And the Vans have both those colors, so it kind of echoes it in a fun way. Mm -hmm. And I'm a fan of mustard, so having the pop of pop of yellow, pop of color, yes, always fun. And next outfit for me is my Stacia T, my lichen duster with some tennis shoes, and same column of color down the center, mm -hmm. and my lichen. I love my lichen. I love this silhouette. This is probably my favorite silhouette. And as you can see, I change out my shoes in this, these clips, and it totally yeah, changes just the a vibe pair of, shoes is of the so whole different. thing. So um, my second pair of shoes is like a more, I'd say, classic yeah. vibe. Um, with the They're like Toms. They're just little booties. Yes. And the third pair of shoes is my chunky like worn with chunky socks um super fun um but they're just like um lace-up boots mm -hmm. so yeah so they give it a more I mean I feel like those are like your signature shoes for me <laughs> for sure so they give it a real like Meg vibe yeah. not that the others aren't Meg but <laughs> yeah yeah that's but fun. just changing the shoes really makes the whole outfit different next outfit is the one I'm wearing which is my uh sleeveless hinterland in a cotton ecat that I've had for years and years, mm -hmm. and over my light, um, over my limestone leggings and my stacia tee. Again, base layers. <laughs> Great base layer. Why change? Why change? And my um, shifty night shift. N no shift. This is the oh. cowl. Yeah, oh. the shifty cowl. Fancy. In yarn from uh, Spin Cycle Yards, which is one of my favorite pops of color. Mm -hmm. Um, it's really fun to wear a short hinterland dress, and this is a great way to take the hinterland dress from summer to fall yeah. to winter. Um, you can play around with all sorts of variations of this with different 
um, you know, different colors, different dresses, different base layers. Super fun. Um, yeah, and I as you said, this is like the classic so liberated outfit. Yeah, we love a layering moment. And I love how it's the dress itself is black too, but has a little bit of white. And then the um, cowl really gives you that like pop of color mm -hmm. that takes mm -hmm. it to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. Very easy. And, you know, some of us don't, don't prefer to wear leggings like on their own, but wearing a, a short dress over it can, yeah. can kind of give you that fun boost of confidence. Um, yeah. And it's almost like wearing them as tights, but they're even warmer. Yes. Yeah. And, and more comfortable. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. And another thing that I love about wearing the short hinterland with the leggings is I love adding a really chunky, fun hand knit sock with boots. This is a personal preference. I would love to one day have a drawer full of chunky hand knit socks. That is not in my cards until, you know, my children are all grown, I'm and guessing. It's time to just sit around knitting socks. But I love the look of a chunky hand knit sock peeking out of the top of boots. I think it's so fun. It's a real like campfire vibe. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, it just like lets those socks sort of shine. <laughs> socks don't typically get a chance to shine, but but peeking over the top of boots is great. Yeah, they can have their moment. Yeah. And my last sort of wintry outfit with mm -hmm. the limestone leggings is my Cheyenne tunic by Hey June, handmade. Mm -hmm. um, and my very old thrifted mini skirt, denim mini skirt that's been mended, um, as well as my stacia tee uh, layered underneath. And I wear this, this, um, button down all the time yeah this is it's like a mammoth flannel I believe is is the it fabric looks really cozy it's the kind of fabric that is always available like mm -hmm. every winter so you can still find it around even though this top of mine is years old at this point um you know I love wearing it unbuttoned you can button it up um you could <laughs> Meredith and I were joking when I was filming we had some debate <laughs> of whether we should tuck in the the top of the station tee to the to the uh, skirt or let it go and Meredith was, was like well you were a high schooler in the late 90s so yeah, like when everyone was wearing their shirts over top of their pants so like that was my inclination but it is also I I, I agree I, I now I prefer to have it yeah I prefer to in <laughs> but again mini skirt with leggings such a fun way to enjoy the the sort of freedom of wearing leggings um and the warmth that comes with it while still like I don't know, like feeling like, oh, I'm a little covered up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's and great. being a little playful with a mini skirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love it. Uh, yeah, so. Um, and my last outfit is definitely a summer vibe. Yes. Um, we designed this crop, the limestone crop, to be to look great with the Otis overalls and the um, penny dress. So um, the way it's designed in the back it really kind of allows you to allows that that fun back of the penny and the Otis to shine. Mm -hmm. um, and I found myself reaching for this kind of combo, either the Otis and the Otis and like a a linen or these these happen to be a denim, but in a linen or a penny dress and in a lightweight cotton or yeah. a linen in the summer. I mean, when you don't want to have anything up, like minimal yeah, amount like of stuff on your skin. Loose, comfortable, cool in yeah, the summer. Breezy, breezy. And that's what you want, especially here. Yeah, it's the it's the best outfit for the days when you just can't. Yes. In the summer. I just, I'm excited for it to be summer again so I can wear my limestone crop with my Otis overalls. I feel like it's going to get me through those super hot days, which I can't even imagine now. I know. But they will be back. So to make the limestone leggings and crop top, we have a course available, a Learn to Sew course with Sherry and Sophia. So you can jump back in with the two of them yes. as they have a great time. And it's so fun. And you don't need a fancy surgery. Yeah, you do not need a surger. To you make can just these. use your domestic machine. Um, knits, sewing with knits can be sort of a mental block for some people, yeah. but it totally doesn't need to be. It absolutely doesn't. Sherry really simplifies it. I have been sewing with knits for a long time and I feel like I learned things going through the videos. She just has so many great tips and it's just so, so fun to feel like you're sewing with Sherry and Sophia. Yeah. yeah. They're it's, like, it's they're, good they're good buds. Yeah. <laughs> they're good it buds. It feels like they're in your house with you. So yeah. And Sophia um, made a set um, and we started filming when Sophia was not very pregnant but, but now Sophia she is very is pregnant, pregnant. <laughs> and so she she opted to make the set that is a 
It's in a birch organic Mm -hmm. um, cotton spandex blend, but it's mostly cotton and it doesn't have a lot of recovery. So depending on the fabric you choose, um, that you, it depends on like what the functionality yeah, of your leggings is going to be. Yeah, she wanted more of a be. loungy, comfortable pair of leggings to wear, um, not necessarily to work out in. So the Birch Organic worked great yes. for that. And we'll leave a link um, down below so you know mm -hmm. wh where to source that. It tends yeah. to be an interlock uh, fabric that you can find. Yeah, it's pretty readily available, yeah, I would say. Uh, regularly. And a lot of great colors. Mm-hmm. Um, you can, the, the one, the fabric that we are recommending for mm -hmm. this um, is uh, an organic cotton um, spandex blend, and that is available from U Fibers. And again, the link, the link is going to yeah, be we'll have a link for you. And that's what Meg and I's sets are made out of. And this is uh, going to provide you with like a, a, a legging with much more recovery. Mm -hmm. um, depending on how you how much you sweat when you work out, you may yeah. or may not be able to wear it, use that fabric while working out. I could. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure I could as a sweaty person, but I think I probably could. I as, think the leggings, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that it provides a uh, that fabric will provide you with uh, a closer fit. Yeah, it's a little bit. I don't. It's not like a compression fabric, but it's definitely like stretches more going on than the yes. than the interlock. Yeah. Um, and you could also make these in, you know, Spoon Flower has... Yeah, they have a performance... Performance knit. knit that you could get in a fun print. Um, yes, our one of our testers and uh, one of our folks who was in our photo shoot, Sudi Laura, she designed her yeah. fabric. And then made leggings with it. Yeah, Amazing. yeah. So it's awesome. And the fabric that Megan and I used for our black sets also comes in white. And we did make some sets that we ice dyed with Sherry. So be yeah. on the lookout for that tutorial if yes. you would like to ice dye. And kits are available for ice dyeing from U Fibers yeah. as well. Yay, yeah. It's so much fun. Ice dyeing is an adventure. You never quite know what you're going to get. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we have a fun time learning. And Sherry, not only is she an excellent uh, sewist and instructor, but Sherry an amazing dyer. is an amazing dyer. Yeah. And she... Um, she actually sells her hand dyed pieces locally here. So uh, we hope you will join us for that tutorial. And again, the link is in the description for, for you to uh, find your limestone legging set. Um, for the course, for the fabric. For the course, for the fabric, for, for everything. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye.